uh, he's going to have to go through so many emotions. When you win wor two World Series championships, uh, this is really uh, engaging because they absolutely love him back there, and they were frustrated that these, he signed here with San Diego. Blake Snell on the hill for your Friars. Making his ninth start. If he can cut down to the walks, he'd do just fine. Last two starts, quality starts. It's Verdugo, the former Dodger, will lead off for the Red Sox. And did he go? Yes, he did. Bruce Dreckman rings him up. Blake Snell strikeout number one of the evening. That's a good way to start on the left hander Verdugo can't hold up. Oh yeah that's a big time swing right there. As Justin Turner is booed upon his introduction very familiar for the uh, red bearded former Dodger. That is strike three gets it on the corner and Blake's like I uh, struck him out twice but OK back to back case two down. That was paint down and away that is a legitimate strike right there Turner. Yeah, he's a tough out. He can cover the plate with the best of them. But that's a nasty pitch right there at 96. Rob Snyder, 273. One home run. He's driven in 14. Reaches out, grounds it back to Snell. Blake's got it, runs it most of the way to first base. Overhand flip to Dixon is in time. And a 1 2 3 top of the first for Blake Snell. On the mound for the Red Sox is James Paxton. Battling back from injury, 34 year old left handed veteran. Last start against the Cardinals, five innings, one walk, nine strikeouts. Fernando Tatis Jr. will lead off against James Paxton. On the ground into center field, that's a base hit. Hanging curveball from Paxton. Tatis is thinking the throw the tag and he is out by plenty an absolutely absurd decision by Fernando Tatis he wants him to review it he was out by a mile there's one away what are you going to review you're out by five feet I, I don't know where he was going on this I can respect the fact that he busted out of the gate ref Snyder cuts this ball off kind of shallow center left center just put a decent throw to second base and he's out this Padre offense for all the money they've invested they really struggle to score runs third fewest in baseball under four a game reaches out and lines it into right field for a base hit opposite field poke for Kim so back to back singles to begin the game but a runner on first one away and the former Red Sox Xander Bogarts will come to bat for the first time against his former team fly ball into right field moving near the line is Verdugo and on the running track to put that away two down and here comes Juan Soto Soto takes outside ball four that'll be his lead leading 40th walk of the year and now two on and two out for the designated hitter Nelson Cruz Paxton trying to get through the first inning unscathed and a cut and a miss for strike three he will do exactly that big strikeout to strand two Rafi Devers to lead it off for the Red Sox in the top half of the second inning. Is a swing and a high fly ball into right field. Watch it go, it is gone. Number 12 for Rafi. And that puts the Red Sox in front one to nothing here against Blake Snell in San Diego. No place to put him. And now you got a guy in Ref Schneider who just keeps doing what he does. This year hitting 348 against lefties. One of the reasons why you see him hitting third when everyone's on the mound. Swing and a drive into the gap in right center field. Back into his left angle. He will not get it. Wong scores behind him for Dugo. It is a two-run double for Rob Ref Schneider. And the Sox lead it three to nothing. So now second and third for Rafael Devers. This relentless Red Sox offense is at it again. Swing and a high drive into center field. Angle back at the track. At the wall. Gone. Devers hits his second homer of the game. A three-run absolute bomb to straightaway center field. The Red Sox have broken it open. It is a relentless lineup, this Padres team, which makes it so much more frustrating for the fan base here that they have struggled so mightily to score runs. And Tatis drives into deep right center field. Verdugo going back, looking up. It's gone. Nando takes it out of the yard, his sixth of the year. And the Padres will chip away. And the pitch is in the dirt, ball four. They got the bases loaded. That, of course, is only half the equation. And the bases loaded a bunch against Kansas City on Wednesday afternoon and just were never able to take advantage of it. This is certainly familiar territory for the pods. The question now is can someone come up with that big two out knock? And popped up. Popped up Turner and foul ground underneath this and will make the catch. And the Padres fail to score. Paxton gets out of it. For another great plate appearance for Rob Refsnutter, he draws a one-out walk, and that'll bring up Rafi. Wider caught at second base. 
Oh, you can hit it anywhere, but you can't hit it into the crowd zone. Devers is out. That ball actually hooking off the bat, coming into the diving Cronenworth. Two down. The X-Man, Xander Bogart, against his old team. Ripped into right field, coming in on it for Dugo. He will dive and make the play. That is not very nice at all to his old teammate. Robbery taking a hit away from Bogey. Inning over. Paxton is through five. Oh, wow. I'll tell you what, those those chairs are unbelievable. I have one of those at home. Those are the most relaxing chairs. I don't know if you're. I don't, I don't know if they're good for the bullpen. You might not be able to get out of them. May want to stay. Tried to check his swing. Cosgrove with a nice play will gun to get him. Red Sox leave a man at third. You know you're, you're really getting terrific starting pitching. The bullpen is pitched terrific as of late. It's just been boiled down to what have they been able to do on the offensive end? You know, I don't, I don't want to beat a dead horse. I mean, at this point, we know that they struggle, but those numbers highlight that struggle because normally you get those type of innings from pitching, you're winning a lot of ball games. And a comebacker, Mankowski with a fine play, man, one gone. See, he's got to hit it harder back at him. He'll feel it cleanly. That's it. <laughs> Or Velo back the other way. One out, nobody on for Nelson Cruz. Swing and a miss. He got him with a cut fastball. And the Red Sox are one out away from winning the opener in San Diego. Here's Jake Cronenworth, left-hand batter. He struck him out, and that's the ball game. The Red Sox win it. They come to San Diego behind Rafi Devers and James Paxton and knock off the Padres, who continue to hear boos from the faithful. Final score six to one in two hours and 25 minutes. Yeah, great team win there. Like I said, Devers and there's two blasts and Big Maple James Paxton just having a great outing and hopefully he can just keep building upon it. Just huge for the Boston Red Sox. Couldn't have drawn it up much better than that.